제가 비캔디를 개발했을 때 당시에는 내부적으로 뭔가 이 초보자들을 케어해야 된다는 생각이 많았어요. 그래서 초보자들을 케어하려면 우리도 어떤 식으로 이렇게 워드를 제작해야 될까라 고민이 많았어요. We had a very chaotic and really fast gameplay in in Sano, and we have a, a very slow paced gameplay for Miramar and also r a n g o And we had players that loved v e r a n g o and loved Miramar, others that absolutely loved s a n o k And so we wanted to have a common battleground. User's feedback is good. Our c h e c k i t is t o r e a p u b g a s always a e When we designed the candy, we wanted to create a different uh, map experience. I think we introduced new features in the candy, like the traceable footprints or the new vehicles with new mechanics. And I think all that together contributed to renew the interest of players in our game. We decided that we could improve the experience in the game. 일단 눈이 거의 비캔디의 3분의 2가 눈으로 원래 덮여 있었는데 이게 특징이기도 하고 그래서 비캔디만의 아름다움이 눈으로 표현된다고 생각을 했어요. 근데 아무래도 그렇다고 해도 게임 플레이에 지장이 되면은 아무리 예뻐도 힘드니까 눈이 필요하면은 게임에 집중할 수가 없잖아요. We wanted to do a very beautiful map and see how much we could push our limits. We didn't expect that snow would be such a big problem for for the players as well. We reduced the amount of trees. The amount of snow have decreased. The terrain has been also modified for gameplay reasons. So now we don't have so many flat areas. We try to make the terrain a little more bumpy so you can cover behind it. Open, 그러니까 원래 비캔디는 3분의 2가 눈으로 완전 덮여 있었다면 오픈 데브 때는 3분의 2눈 중에서 그 중에서 반 정도가 덜어진 것 같고요. The main complaints were the brightness of the snow and the performance. So now with this remaster, also we try to improve that. Keep in mind that we needed also to improve the performance because we are adding new stuff, like the new Dinoland. That is huge, and the train that will affect performance as well. So we needed to balance all that. We reworked almost every building, I will say, and every location. We reduced the tree count, the materials, uh, textures, everything. We are trying to keep the same looking and the same quality. Everything is more pleasant to the eye. Candy에서 기차는 사실상 저희 비캔디를 개발할 초기에 이미 아이디어는 나와 있었어요. 실제로 기차를 넣었으면 좋겠다. 그때 아마 세국열차가 영화가 나왔었을 때고 그래서 비캔디에 기차가 들어가서 좋겠다는 얘기가 나왔었는데 사실상 그걸 개발할 시간이 없었던 거고 그걸 막 같이 월드를 개발하면서 그 기차까지 새로 신규로 만들어서 넣기까지 시간이 부족했던 거고 이번에 그걸 준비해서 넣게 됐는데. There are 11 stations. You have two different lines. One that goes around the island, outside the island, and then you have two internal lines with multiple trains that go back and forth. I'm really looking forward to see how players use it. The good thing is that you know where the train goes and where the lines are, so you can plan your next move, hoping that the train will add new, unexpected, and funny moments. But you have complete freedom. You don't need to drive, so you are free to fight. Dinoland is what was previously known as Dino Park. We looked at American theme parks from the 60s. It is about four times bigger than the old Dino Park. Dino Park was already an area that was beloved by the players. When we started to to work on Vikendi, we organized a trip to Slovenia. That was our main inspiration for the map. And we were traveling, and we passed by an actual abandoned uh, dinosaur park. 
that looked super creepy, but amazing. We added a lot of verticality, so you can actually climb to even to the top of the volcano. Dinoland kept this chaotic feeling with these maintenance areas, for example, that you can access uh, from the back part of the stores or restaurants. And you can run into an expected fight with a team that was on the other side of the park by accessing to these areas. So that will keep that chaotic feeling. Pandora는 게 시시각각 변하고 유저들의 취향도 정말 다이나믹해가지고 그때 그때 맞춰서 그때 그때 맞춰 유저 유저 취향이랑 개발자들의 로망이 합쳐져서 나오는 게 게임이라고 생각을 하거든요. 팬 피드백 is one of the PUBG core values. And if you look at the Vikendi Remaster, you will see that all the changes were made to improve the fan experience. And all the changes were made based on their thoughts. And you can clearly see that. Because we truly believe that the best way to offer, the best game for our players is listening to them.